Hey YouTube, welcome to Craig's E-Liquid Reviews. Today we're going to tear down this little boy Addy and we're going to put a set of dual coils on there. We're going to shoot for 0.5 to 0.7 ohms. Right now it has a single coil build, parallel coil. We're going to take that out. We're going to save it. We're going to put a pair of coils in there. I'm going to show you how to build them on the Curo coiler and put them on the RDA. Let's dive down and get into it. Okay, we have a little boy Addy, and we are sitting at 1.3 or 0 .3, 0 0.13 ohms right now, which is pretty hot coil. You can see it is a single coil parallel build. So we are going to take that out and we are going to replace it with a dual coil and we're going to shoot for about 0.5 to 0.7. Okay, let's take this off and get it off of here and see, what's, see what we can do. Get my tools. flat screwdriver. So let's take our cap off. Screwdriver and loosen those. Get my magnifier. So I can see something. See what I'm doing. Okay, let's we'll take those right out of there, and I'll save this coil because it can be reused. I don't want to just toss it, so I'll save this and uh, clean it up, and I'll use it later. So to decide for now, and now you can see three post design, the little boy Addy, and the uh, holes are pretty good size. If we're gonna focus in here or not, I don't guess so. Okay, come back down here. Nope, still not. Okay, see if I can get that in focus for you. Okay, yeah, you can see those holes, pretty good size. So, shouldn't have any problem getting anything we want in there. Although we are using 28 gauge Canthal for this build, so we will have no problems at all. Okay, so let's build our coils. We're gonna go with uh, dual coils. We're going to go with the 10 wraps with the 28 gauge canthal and we're going to use our coil maker to make the coils. So let's go make some coils and then uh, we'll come back to this. Okay for this build we will be using 28 gauge canthal A1 and I had to change over the screw on the Kuro coiler to um, since we're going to be using the 28 gauge I was using some 24 gauge and I had it on the second hole there so I put it back on number one so we will set that down for a second set that aside for a second and take our oh, I cut two pieces approximately seven eight inches long can't tell. Put that in our cooler like so. And we'll just wrap that first wrap about halfway around. Take the other part of the cooler and we'll go back around to my thumb and we'll go 10 wraps. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, just a little bit further, make sure it wraps. 
Now I have noticed if you pull this off, put it back on, push it all the way down, you can take this edge here, push it down and straighten that lead out a little bit. Makes it really nice. And you can get these about the same amount there, where they're both facing the same direction. And then we'll just clip that lead a little shorter than our other one. So we've got one long and one short. And there we have our 10 wrap coil. It's actually a pretty nice little coil. Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll throw them on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little further there. Put that on, straighten that lead. Nice and straight. Take our clippers, clip that a little shorter than the other one. Uh, not much shorter, but it's short enough. And now we have our second coil. Our second coil. Okay. Now let's get down to the RDA, back to the RDA and put them on. Okay, back up close with the RDA. Now, it's nice to have a second screwdriver you can throw these on and straighten that lead out just a little bit there. So, I'll back out all the holes because I had this one down all the way because it was a single coil before. Now we're going with the dual coil. I'll open that up and we'll take first coil and you want to position this, get the first lead in there, second lead in there, get it approximately where you want it, just by hand, and just snug down that negative post just a little bit, just to keep it in place. Okay, now, what I like to do now is I like to just go ahead and snip off some of this positive line here. Okay. Just like so and we're not going to snug that down well let's go ahead and snug it down just a tad so we can get this coil a little bit straightened out okay okay now we'll loosen that back up hold this in place take our second coil Put the negative end, the longer one, then the shorter one. Once again, bring that up. Get it about the position that you want it. Make sure it's about the same distance away from the post as your first coil when you're done. So, that leg over there on this one is a little bit shorter than this one. So push that in. Snug that back down just a little. Now we got the center post pretty much where they want them. I got the I got this coil just inside the wall here, and I want this coil to be the same place. I'm going to bring it out just a tad. Use my screwdriver here. Bring it out. There we go. Positioned the way we want them. We want them tilted up just a little bit, like they are. We want them down towards the bottom of the RDA. So, move them down, make sure they're about the same. Everything looks good. Okay, everything's tight, everything looks good. Let's see what we got on our meter. And we're looking at 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is good. So, take a look there. There's the build. 0.67. Bring that out just a little bit. Oops, sorry about that. Bring that out just a little bit. 0.67. And that's what we're shooting for. Between 0.5 and 0.7. So, let's put it on the RDA and fire it up. And uh, squeeze them together a little bit and see what we got. Well, 
Okay, we've got the RDA sitting on top of the iStick 50 now. I got set at about 35 watts. And we'll start pulsing the coils and get them warmed up and hot and see what's going on. You can see how they're heating up from the outsides kind of right now. We'll let them get hot. One's getting pretty hot. I'm going to turn that down to 30. Pulse that. And we're going to give this one little squeeze here. See what's going on with that. And we'll squeeze this one while we're at it too. I'm trying to get those fire from the inside out is what we want. So, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's better. They're starting to fire from the inside out. And it looks like they're both firing about the same. This one closer to me is not firing as fast. I'm going to give it another little squeeze. Nice lint on the pliers there. Give that a little squeeze. And see what we got. Oh yeah, that looks nice. So, there you have it, 0.67, little boy RDA, and we're looking good. So let's wick it up and we'll see what we got. Okay, I've cut my two pieces of cotton, now I'm ready to put those in. So, what I like to do there is I will... Roll the ends up real tight, make a real small cone, stick it through this so I can grab it. I'll twist this side as I pull, which keeps it small in the middle. And I'll get it a little bit past halfway there. And that was easy enough. I'll go to the other side, twist it tight there, and have to stick it through. Grab the other side. If I got that tight enough. Yeah. Barely. And eh, maybe not. I'm going to go a little tighter on that. Just to make it easier on us. Alright. There we go. See how much easier that was. You want these fairly loose in here. When I'm tight. Okay. So now what I like to do is I like to take my screwdriver. And. I will. Just take this and tuck that around like so. Push it down. Take this, tuck that in like so. So I have some wicking below the coil, sort of all around it. So we can get a little bit of that wicking in contact with the coil. Give some more vapor. And just trying to get that underneath the coil there. And if you give these a little twist and curl them under at the same time, they kind of just go into there really easily. Like so. Get the blue strand out of there. Okay. All right. There. And about the same height. Okay. Looks good. Looks good to me. I don't know. Does that look good to you? It's okay. Alright, let's juice it up. Let's see how she hits. Okay, now we're back up top. Got the little boy, Addy, sitting on top of the e -stick, I Stick 50. Stormtrooper dripped it. And we have Venus by Space Jam in there right now. So, we'll do a review on that coming up sometime in the next month or so. Okay, we are set at 30 watts. Good flavor. She's producing some clouds.
Okay, there you have it. 0 0.67. 0 0.67. 10 wraps. 28 gauge. 2.5 diameter. 2.5 millimeter diameter uh, rod on the Kuro coiler. Little boy Addy, Stormtrooper drip tip, Space Jam e liquid Venus. Let's go up to 40. 40. You can see that. 40. Whoa. Wow, it's putting out some major clouds. I got the air vents wide open on this little boy. Look at that. I mean, look at that. Wow. There you go, folks. 0 0.67. 0 0.67. 10 wraps, 28 gauge, Canthal. A1 Canthal. 28 gauge, 2.5 millimeter diameter. Rod. Check out some of my e-liquid reviews on Christ e-liquid reviews. I got uh, lots of uh, e-liquid reviews on there and more coming. We have uh, giveaways from time to time. Got one coming on or going on right now. Build one. See what you got. Mine came out 0.67. See what yours comes out. All right. That's all I have for today. So tune in next time. More e-liquid reviews and... Sometimes a little more. Have a vape day. Peace out.